Thank you for stopping by my channel, Crochet and Copy. My name is Judy. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this lovely diamond lace market bag. Of course, you don't have to use it just for the market, but you could use it for whatever you want to. But I think it came out really lovely and nice. So that's what we're going to learn today, how to do the diamond lace design, okay? Before we get started, I want to show you the measurement of our bag. So across, we have 13 inches. And then without the straps, with the handles, and we have like close to 14 inches okay so 13 across and then 14 long so these are supplies we're going to be using to make our diamond lace market bag i'll go over them with you the yarn we're using is from peaches and cream original it's a medium four 100 percent cotton and the color is sunshine it's 120 yards so that's for our yarn our hook is the USG6. It's the 4.00 millimeter. We're going to be using a yarn needle, a few stitch markers, and lastly, our scissors. And for our yarn, we need three of them to complete our project. To get started, we're going to attach our yarn to our hook. And how to do that is called slip knot stitch. This is how I'm comfortable in doing mine. If you have a different method, go ahead and use it. I'll show you how you, I do mine. I take my yarn, drape it over my two fingers, I let it fall to the back, take my hook, put it between my two fingers, and I pull up a loop of yarn. And here you go. You have a little knot and tight knot knot against your hook. And that's it. So we're going to start round one. And to start round one, we're going to need 23 chain so a chain is yarn over your hook pull through yarn over your hook pull through yarn over your hook pull through yarn over your hook and pull through so keep on doing that till you get 23 and then when you get there i'll show you what to do next so this is how we look when we completed doing our 23 chains okay so now our pattern calls for us to put three half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So our first chain is right here and the second chain is right here. Okay, and the chain is divided into this first loop in the back. We were considering this would be the front and then you have those little bars on the back. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this side of our chain to start off with, okay? So I'll show you how to do the half double crochet. So you're going to yarn over your hook. And you're going to remember not the first one, the second one here. You're going to put three half double crochet. And then you yarn over, you pull up. Now you're going to have three loops of yarn on your hook. Yarn over, you're going to pull th cross three of them at the same time. And that's a half double crochet. So that's one. And since we're going to be working around, here is where our stitch marker comes in. We're going to put our stitch marker in that first stitch. So this is going to be a reminder of what we're going to do. Okay, there you go. So now yarn over because we're doing the next half double. Go into that same chain. And you're going to pull up a loop of yarn, three loops of yarn on your hook. Yarn over, pull across all three of them at the same time. And this will be your second half double crochet all right yarn over go into that same chain space pull up a loop of yarn yarn over and then pull across all three of them at the same time there you go so that's our first three half double crochet to start with so now just work going along on the chain and do that for 20 times and that will bring you here and then we get to the last chain to do i'll show you what to do okay so just put one 
half double crochet into the next following 20 chain all right okay so we did that for 20 times and that's how we look and here what I like to do is I'll show you because when you're working with it it's kind of confusing if you're not used to it so I like to have my little stitch marker to help me guide me if you know how to do it don't have to do it but I'll show you what I do now at the end of this last chain we're going to put six half double crochet all right so when you come around then you want to know where is the be the next stitch we're going to be work the next chain i should say we're going to be working on so what i like to do is to put my stitch marker there okay so it will be over here so you know where to go to next okay It'll be right here you can open it because remember when we started i told you the chain makes like that v and then you have that stitch in the back of it or that bump i should say bar in the back so you could divide the chain and that's why we're going to work up the opposite side so when you come around and i tell you to turn the work you know where to start okay it'll be right there now the last chain remember we got to put six half double crochet so this will be our first one and here also too i put another stitch marker okay so I know I did my six coming around. So that will be the first one. Two. And I like to grab onto the little tail to work over it so I tuck it in so I don't have to tuck it in later. Hold on to it. That's three. Remember, we're going back into that same space, that chain, I should say, not space, but chain. And just go ahead and continue putting six there, all right? Okay, see, we made six, and how you know, because you use your little stitch marker, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're like, when you look at it, it's like, where do I put my next, you know, I go into what's the next chain because now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and we're going to work up the opposite side of our chain but like I said I'm going to hold on to the little tail and work over it so I don't have to tuck it in later so there goes where our stitch marker came in so now from the stitch marker this one you're just going to do one half double crochet for 20 times and then you stop and I'll show you what to do next So that's how we look when we did that for 20 times so now we're back to our beginning chain I open it for you so you can see because remember our chain how it shapes it has the we were working on this side of our chain now this is the opposite side and this will be the little bar in the back of our chain that we have that's how it looks all right so you don't get confused so now what you're gonna do in this part of the beginning chain you're gonna put three half double crochet so that will make us even because we when we got to the last chain here remember we did six so now we have three and three six okay so now by putting those three in our beginning chain with completion of row one you should have your 52 stitches okay that's round one, not row one. Okay, now to start round two. What we're going to do for the first three stitches, we're going to put two half double crochet, okay? So if you know where you're at, you could go ahead and take out your stitch marker. I'm just going to leave it there so I don't lose it. Now I'm going to take it out, okay? And just do that first half double crochet. Put my 
stitch marker back in so I know this is the first one and you're gonna put another one right in there so that makes two so now for the next two stitches one right here one right here you're gonna put two half double crochet so go ahead and do that when you finish that I'll show you what to do next okay so we did that so we put two half double crochet in those stitches so now what you're going to do you're going to put one half double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches and remember that's why I like him here <laughs> he reminds me and tells me where to stop so if you don't want to count if you want to count go ahead but he reminds me stop right there so go ahead and do 20 and then I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do next so that's how we look when we did one half double in those 20 stitches so we made it up to this stitch marker so now from this stitch marker to right here that will give us six stitches so one two three four five six what you're going to do is you're going to put in each of them you're going to put two half double crochet okay so you go ahead and do that and i'll meet you there so with our stitch marker we put here it helps us to make sure that we did two half double in each of those six stitches all right because you could count it you're supposed to have your 12. so now turn it so now from the next stitch marker you're going to do 20 with just one half double crochet all right 20 times and i'll meet you there okay we did that for 20 times so that's how we look so now we have three stitches remaining so what you're going to do is you're going to put two half double crochet in those three stitches that remains okay and that's it that will be the completion of round two so go ahead and do that and when you finish that i'll tell you what to do next okay so with that make sure you have your 64 stitches to complete round two okay 64 stitches now to start round three I'm going to take out my stitch marker and what we're going to do with that first stitch to start round three we're going to put one half double crochet right there put my stitch marker back in so I don't lose my spot and now the next stitch we're going to put two half double okay and that's it so now go ahead and do that pattern for one two more time okay so you, the next stitch will be one half double next stitch will be two half double one half double two half double and when you finish that i'll meet you there and show you what to do next okay so we did that so now for our next 20 stitches all you're going to do is just put one half double crochet okay so go ahead and do that just one half double crochet and i'll meet you there okay so we did that for 20 times by putting one half double crochet so now we made it to where stitch marker is to remind us we're going to do with those 12 stitches right here this is the pattern we're going to follow so i'm going to take out my stitch marker it's what the pattern we did earlier when we started off okay so the first stitch right there we're just going to put one half double crochet and then the following you're going to put two half double crochet all right so that's it so the next one will be one half double crochet two half double crochet and you're going to follow it till you get the, right here before the stitch marker you should end off with uh, putting two half double crochet in that last stitch okay so just keep on working around with that pattern okay so we did that pattern and we continue doing that so you did that pattern for six times when you start off from here okay so make sure you do that so now moving on now from our this stitch marker that will be our 20 so do 20 in doing one half double crochet and when you get to 20 stitches stop and then i'll show you what to do next now we did that so that's how we look so now we have six stitches remaining 
So we're going to follow that same pattern that we start off with. All right, that pattern is you're going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to put two half double. So you're going to do that till you get back to our starting stitch marker. Okay, so keep on working with that. I'll show you what to do next. So that's how we look when we complete round three. And then the end of round three, you need to have your 76 stitches. So now I'm going to show you how to start round four. Okay, to start round four, I'm going to take out my stitch marker. In that first stitch, we're going to put one half double. Okay, put back my stitch marker. So now this is the pattern that we're going to use when we need to increase around. Okay, so that's one. So the next stitch, you would do another half double and then the following stitch you put two half double okay there you go so now you're going to do that two more times so this two stitches one two just one half double crochet next stitch you would do two half double crochet one two one half double crochet the next one two half double crochet so go ahead and do that and when you finish that i'll meet you there okay so we did that so now what you're going to do is do one half double to get to your stitch marker and that's our 20 stitches remember so do one half double for 20 times okay so now we get back to where we're going to do that pattern and the pattern is consists of where a stitch marker is so that would be one two you will do one half double crochet and the next one you would do put two half double crochet so keep on working around with that pattern remember just before we get to our stitch marker so you would do that pattern for six times all right when you do that so again remember one half double one half double two half double all right so keep on working with that pattern we did that pattern for six times so now for the next 20 stitches, just put one half double crochet, okay? Okay, we did that for 20 times. So now the remaining nine stitches we have, you're gonna follow the pattern that we've been doing is the increase pattern of the first two stitch. You're gonna put one double crochet and the next one will be two double crochet, all right? So keep on working with that pattern. And remember, you're gonna finish off with that one with the two double crochet all right so do that for those nine stitches okay so that's how we look and that's for completion of round four so with the completion of round four you have your 88 stitches so now for round five to round ten i'm not going to show you how to do it because all you're going to do is just going to put one half double crochet around that's all but just keep a track of what round you're at so i'm going to meet you at round 10. i'm going to take out the little reminder stitch markers that we have but i'm not going to take out the stitch marker that reminds us where we start that round okay so leave that in and move it up as you go along of course but i'm going to take these out if you don't want to take them out it's up to you but now again i'm not going to show you those round round five through round ten so just keep on working with that and then i'll meet you there okay so we made it up to row ten so that's it how we look now to start round eleven so what you're going to do is you're going to take out the stitch marker and we're going to slip stitch to that stitch okay and slip stitch is basically you go into it pull up a loop of yarn and that loop of yarn they have right there and the loop that we just pulled up just pull it straight across and that's a slip stitch so what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain two one and two so to continue with row 11 when we do it the first four stitches this is where we did that slip stitch when you turn it around right here that was where we slip stitch okay so when you turn it you look at it that's not the first stitch the first stitch is here all right because when we did this um chain two that counts as our first stitch all right 
So what you're going to do is you're going to do the first four stitches, you're going to put a double crochet. I'm going to show you how to do the double crochet. Yarn over your hook, you go into that stitch, you pull up a loop, three loops of yarn in your hook, yarn over and pull across the first two loops, and to complete it, yarn over and then pull across those two. It's similar to the half double crochet that we were doing. Now, of course, you see I didn't put back my stitch marker because you will see it obviously when we get around. When we get around again, you see it, all right? Show you again how to do a double crochet, very similar to the half double. Yarn over your hook, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then you have those three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull across the first two loops, two loops more remaining in your hook, yarn over, pull straight across. One more time, yarn over your hook, go into the next stitch, and pull up a loop of yarn, three loops of yarn on your hook, yarn over, pull straight across the first two loops to complete it, yarn over, pull across those. So go ahead and do one more, and then I'll meet you there and show you what to do next. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, and we're going to skip that stitch, okay? So now this is the pattern we're going to follow when we go around. So you're going to do in the following seven stitches, you're going to put one double crochet. So go ahead and do that. When you complete that, I'll meet you there. So now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip one. And then you're going to put seven in the seven following stitches, you're going to put one double crochet. All right. So that's the pattern. All right. So I explained to you again. I won't show you how to do it, but you're going to do this for nine more times. So the pattern consists of you do the seven stitches with one double crochet then you chain your one. And then, you, of course, you skip that stitch underneath and then you continue again with your seven. So do that for nine more times. And when you finish that, I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we did that pattern for nine times. So we end off with that chain one. And remember, we skipped that stitch. All right. So the following one, two stitch, all you're going to do is just going to put one double crochet. Okay, so we did that. So now, remember, we chain when we started. We said that count as a stitch. So when you finish, you should have your 88 because we're not increasing, okay? So now we're going to join it. And we're going to join it on the top of the chain two that we started this row with. And that's the complete row 11. You got to get in there and find it. Because remember, the chain has that top bar and then the back bar and the front bar. So that's what we need to get it there and we're going to join it by doing a slip stitch okay so i'm just trying to find it there you go <laughs> i finally got it okay so you go under those two bars from the chain and then how you do the slip stitch again you just pull a loop of yarn up it's going to take a little bit because it's that chain there you go and pull straight across and that's your slip stitch there you are now to start row 12, you're going to chain two, one, two, and then turn your work. So now remember, when you look at it, here is not where your first stitch is going to be, okay? Because that's where we slip stitch. And that chain two makes a stitch, it makes our first stitch for that row. So we go here. So these will be our first two that we actually have to work in. So you're going to put one double crochet in this first two stitch that we have right there. Now for that chain one space that we had from the previous row, what we're going to do is just going to put one double crochet right there. We're going to chain one and then we're going to skip this stitch. So now this is going to be the pattern for row 12, okay? So remember, we're skipping that stitch. So for the next five stitch, we're going to put one double crochet. Okay, so we did that with five. 
stitch with one double crochet so now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip that next stitch right there and we're going to go right here in that chain one space just put one double crochet right there and you're going to chain one and you're going to skip the next stitch right here so that will be the pattern for row 12. I'll show you again the pattern will start off with because remember we end off the pattern with skipping that stitch so the following five you put just one double crochet okay so we did those five stitch with a double crochet so you're going to chain your one and you skip that stitch and you're going to go into this chain one space and then you're going to chain your one and skip your one remember and then this will start again by doing the five the next stitch over that will start the pattern over again all right because you're getting the pattern to look like this all right so continue working with it so we did another set so you need eight more to get back around and when you get back around when you did eight pattern i'll show you what to do next knit it around by doing that pattern and we did it for eight more times so now we get it here where we have uh we did the chain one and we're going to skip that one stitch underneath so we have one two three three more stitch to do and all you're going to do is put one double crochet in each of those three stitches that remain for row 12 and you're going to join it like i showed you how to join it on top of the chain two with that slip stitch so go ahead and do that and i'll meet you there so i went ahead and did the three stitches that remain with the double crochet and i joined it and i chained my two so now all i'm going to do is turn it and we're going to start row 13. i went ahead and turned my work remember this is the slip stitch it's not the first stitch because our chain count as our first stitch okay so for the following one two stitch we're just going to put one double crochet okay and that's to start doing our row 13 now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip that stitch and you're going to go into the chain one space from the previous row and just put one double crochet there and in the double crochet here we're going to put one double crochet and in that chain one space we're also going to put a double crochet so we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch and the following three stitches we're going to put one double crochet this is the pattern for round 13. okay so you're going to chain your one you're going to skip that stitch you're going to double crochet in the chain one space from a previous row you're going to double crochet in this stitch And you're going to double crochet in the chain one space from your previous row and then you're going to chain one skip that stitch and the following three stitches you're going to put one double crochet okay so go ahead and do that for eight more times i won't show you but here i'll tell you so you're going to chain your one skip that one uh, double crochet double crochet double crochet chain one skip one and then the following three double crochet and that's where you're going to end off with when you complete doing another with the set for eight times and then i'll meet you there and i'll show you what to do next so we finish ending off with the pattern that we had so now you're going to chain your one and you're going to skip that stitch and you're going to put a double crochet in a chain one space so now for the next two stitches we're going to put one double crochet okay and we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that last stitch right there and by skipping that last stitch the next thing you do is you're going to join to the top of the chain two and then you're going to 
chain you two and turn your work and I'll meet you there okay so I went ahead and joined it and I chain my two and I turn my work now we're starting round 14 now we're gonna double crochet in that first chain one space right there and the next three stitch that we have we're just gonna put one double crochet and this is the pattern for round 14. And what we're gonna do is this chain one space we're gonna put one double crochet and you're gonna chain one and you're gonna skip one stitch so we're skipping that stitch so now you're gonna double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to chain one and you're going to skip that stitch you're going to dc one double crochet in the next stitch and the following three stitches we're going to put one double crochet so i'll show you the pattern again the pattern is we're going to double crochet into that chain one space we're going to chain one you're going to skip that stitch and you're going to double crochet in this stitch and we're going to chain one skip that stitch and we're going to double crochet here and the following three stitches we're going to double crochet in and that's the pattern and you're going to work with that pattern for round 14 okay so keep working with that pattern Okay, so by working with that pattern, we have two more stitches to do. So all you're going to do is you're going to chain one, skip that stitch, and we're going to put one double crochet in our last stitch. Okay, so we did that. So now I'm going to join it with the slip stitch. And with this row, we're going to start row 15. We're going to chain three this time. One, two, three. And then of course you're going to turn your work and by doing that chain three that counts as our first double crochet and a chain one space okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to skip that first stitch we have right there so we're skipping the first stitch and so now we're going to double crochet in the chain one space And in the following five stitches, put one double crochet. You're going to double crochet into that chain one space. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to skip this double crochet, and then you're going to put one double crochet in that chain one space. And that's how we're looking so far. So this will be the pattern that we're going to be following for row 15. So now you're going to do one double crochet in the next five stitch five and then in that chain one space one double crochet and then you're going to chain one skip this one double crochet and go into the chain one space and that's the pattern okay so that's the pattern you're going to do and you're going to do that eight more times and then when you do that, I'll meet you there. For this round, I have to join now because my other ball that I started with is finished. So this is how I'm joining my yarn. You don't have to join it this way, but I'm just showing you if you wanted to know how I join my yarn. There you go. I just went ahead and cut off the extra tail of yarn that I have and I'm just continuing with the pattern. So we followed our pattern around and now we have five stitches to do one, two, three, four, five. So in those five stitches, you're just going to put one double crochet. Remember when we started, we started with a chain three and we say that counts as our first double crochet and a chain one space. So for us to join it, what we're going to do is we're going to find the second chain that we made not the third one okay because that will be our chain one space so find the second chain and you're going to join it there all right and then when you finish doing that 
that's the completion of round 15 I'll show you how to start round 16 now for round 16 you're gonna chain your two one two and you're gonna turn your work so for the first five stitches one two three four five we're gonna put one double crochet Now you did that for five times, so now you're going to chain one, you're going to skip that stitch, and you're going to double crochet in the chain one space. So we chain our one, and we skip this stitch, so the following five stitches, we're going to put one double crochet. And this is the pattern we're going to be following for round 16. So you're going to chain your one, skip that stitch, and then one double crochet in the chain one space and then you're going to chain your one and remember you skip that stitch and then by starting the pattern over again you're going to put one double crochet in the next five stitch and then you start over that pattern okay so that's how we look so now we made it around from doing that pattern we did it nine times so now we have where we left off with that chain one and of course we're going to skip that one stitch so now we're going to put one double crochet in the next five stitches we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put the last stitch will be in our chain space right here so we're going to put one double crochet right there so go ahead and join it to the top of the chain two and then Go ahead and chain your two and turn your work and I'll meet you there. So I went ahead and I chain my two and I turn my work. So the first stitch right here, we're going to put one double crochet. So now that chain one space, I'm going to put one double crochet right there. We're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch. And the following three stitches we're going to put one double crochet now chain your one and you're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put one double crochet in our chain one space and the double crochet right here we're going to put one double crochet right there so now this is the pattern for round 17 so we're going to double crochet in that chain one space we're going to chain one we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to go and put one double crochet in the following three stitches you're going to chain your one skip that stitch and you're going to double crochet in that chain one space and in this double crochet you're going to put a double crochet and in the chain one space you're going to put a double crochet so the double crochet we put in that chain one space start our pattern over again so now what we're going to do is you're going to chain your one and you're going to skip that stitch and then the following three stitches one two three you're going to put a double crochet chain your one skip that one and then you're going to put a double crochet a double crochet and a double crochet that will start the new pattern all right for round 17. so just keep on doing that and you're going to do that you by now you know how many times we've been doing it okay we've been repeating it eight times and of course we're starting with the pattern because when we started if you look at the my PDF pattern I have, I put that in the description below. You see it says nine times, but with showing you in the tutorial, I've been saying eight times, okay? So you're not confused with that. When you read the pattern, it's a little different than when you actually work with it and I'm showing you how to do it, all right? So just keep on working with that pattern. So we went ahead and did that pattern. So now we have the chain one space from a previous row so we're just going to put one double crochet right there and we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch and we 
we're going to double crochet into the so remember skip that one we're going to double crochet into the following three stitches so one two three so that's the third one and now we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the last stitch and what you're going to do is just going to join it and then you know what to do you chain your two and you turn your work okay to start around 18 we're going to double crochet into that first chain one space right here and the following two stitches we're going to put one double crochet okay and we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put one double crochet in that chain one space now we're going to put one double crochet in the following three stitches and we're going to double crochet into this chain one space we're going to chain one i'm going to skip this next stitch and we're going to put a double crochet right here so now this is the pattern for round 18. we're going to chain our one we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put one double crochet right here and we're going to double crochet in the following three stitches And we're going to double crochet into that chain one space and we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch and the following stitch we're going to put one double crochet so that's our pattern for round 18. so go ahead and continue working with that pattern so next you would do a chain one you skip this stitch and then you would do one double crochet in this chain one space in the following three stitches one double crochet and in this chain space you double crochet you chain your one and then you skip that one so that's the pattern so keep on working with that and then when you finish that I will meet you there so we made it around with our pattern we're doing it nine times so we have four more stitches to work with so we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put one double crochet into that chain one space and our last two stitches we have remaining we're just going to put one double crochet now what we're going to do is just join it to the top of our chain two and of course you're going to chain your two and turn your work and i'll meet you there so for round 19 i went ahead and i chain my two and i turned my work so the first three stitches we have right there we're just going to put one double crochet and then for that space this chain one space we have there we're just going to put one double crochet right there now we're going to chain one and we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to double crochet in our next chain one space in the following five stitches we're going to put one double crochet Okay, and then the next chain one space we're going to put one double crochet right there we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch now this is the pattern we're going to follow for round 19 we're going to skip that stitch and in the chain one space we're going to double crochet right there so the pattern again is we're just going to repeat what we just did so you're going to do one two three four five you're going to do one double crochet you're going to double crochet in this chain one space you're going to chain one and then you're going to skip this stitch and then you're going to put a double crochet here okay in this chain one space so that will be the pattern for round 19. so keep working with that pattern and when you finish i'll meet you there and following our pattern around we did that nine times so now the pattern so we have the chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch and the remaining two stitches that we have we're just going to put one double crochet there all right so now all we need to do is to just join it to where we started the round round we're going to join it all right 
takes a little bit to play with it, but go ahead and join it. So now we made it up to where we're actually going to be repeating our pattern now to get our design, okay? And I will show you how to do it. So now round 20, you're going to repeat round 12. Round 21, you're going to repeat round 13. Round 22, you're going to repeat round 14. And so on and so on and so on. So you get all the way up to round 27, and that will be repeating round 19. So it's an eight row repeat to get our design, all right? So when you get there, but we're going to stop at round 28, and that will bring you back to round 12. So just rewind the tape, the video, and check out how we did it. And if you need the PDF pattern, I put that information in the description below. So check that out also too, okay? So I'll meet you there when you get to round 28 so we made it up to round 28 and that's how we look we did awesome work and we repeated that pattern so now we're going to start round 29 and that will start to form the bag strap okay so now we're going to start round 29 so what you're going to do is you're just going to chain one and then we're going to use this stitch right here as our first stitch, all right? And we're going to half double into that first stitch right there. And you know how to half double because we've been doing it. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our stitch marker because we're going to put our stitch marker right here because this will, we're going to be not turning anymore or joining. We're going to be working in a spiral. So this is our stitch marker. Put your stitch marker back in for that first stitch half double right there so that's all you're going to do for round 29 is just put one half double crochet in each of our stitch that we have okay so i'll show you when how i prefer to do it too when i get to like where our um because with this yarn and the hook it opens it up for when we did that chain one so I go into that chain one space, okay? If you prefer to go around it, it's up to you, but I prefer to go into the actual chain one space. All right, so that's how it is. So just do one half double crochet in each stitch around. And then when you get to where we did that chain one to start this round, I'll show you what to do, all right? So just do that and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we made it around to where we're going to end off on round 29. Because if you count around how many we have, we should have 87 stitches. And remember when we were turning and joining, this would have made our 88 stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to go where we made that chain one. When we start off with it right there and you're going to put your last half double crochet right there and that will give you your 88 stitches okay and there you go now for the following two rounds that we have round 30 and round 31 all you're going to do is just going to do one half double crochet around in each of our stitches that we have okay so go ahead and do that and when you finish that i'll meet you at the completion of round 31. So we did that for two rounds and that's how we look so far. Looking nice, looking nice. So now what we're going to do for round 32, take out the stitch marker and for the first 21 stitches, we're just going to put one half double okay so when you get to 21 stop there of course don't forget to put your stitch marker back in all right so go ahead and do 21 and i'll meet you there okay so that's how we look so far so now what you're going to do is you're going to chain 60 and when you finish that i'll show you what to do next okay so now we did our 60 chain so what you're going to go ahead and do now is you're going to count 20 stitches because we're going to skip 20 stitches. 
you could see that was that it counted one two three four and so on and this is my 20 right here so i'm going to join it here okay so that would be 21 stitch across and try to make sure you keep it as straight as you can try to keep it as straight as you can okay when you join it all right so to join it you just go into that next stitch but we're going to half double okay so yarn over first go into that stitch and just do the regular half double all right but keep your there you go and that's how we join it but keep it straight all right when you join it so go ahead and put an additional in 21 stitches you're going to put one half double crochet okay because this will make 22 where we started with that first one so go ahead and just put in the additional 21 stitches just one half double i meet you there so we did that for 21 time so we made it here so now what you're going to do is we're going to start the other bag handle so all you're going to do is just chain another 60 and when you finish chaining the other 60 you're going to skip another 20 all right so the other 20 will bring you here and then from there make sure you join it back here so it's going to join here because this will be our 20 stitches that we skip so all you have to remain in to do is one two three four five after that okay and then we move on to the next run okay so we did that we did the next bag handle and we attach it and we did those five stitches right there so now we're going to start round 33 so all you're going to do now is just take out the stitch marker of course because we got to start that first stitch right there and you're going to do put back a stitch marker one half double till you get to your first bag handle and i'll show you what to do next so that will make you have 21 around okay so now we did that for 21 times and then we're here now so what i'm going to do is helps you when you're trying to figure out where to put your stitches or where to go explain it to you put it right there all right because that will be before we start going up our chain and to work at our chain all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go around the chain and work around the chain all right i'll show you what i mean around the chain so we're going to do the half double so find that first chain right there we're going to go into it and just do the half double so i'm using what's called because when you have the chain as we explained earlier when we started it has the two loops in the front the front loop and the back loop and then you have that bar in the back that's how we worked when we first started so that's what i'm going to go in all right that little bar in the back of it of our or the bumps in the back of the chain you could open it up work with it so that means you're going to do this for 60 times okay because that's what we did we did 60 chain so you're supposed to have your 60. all right there you go and that's it so go ahead and do that for 60 times and i'll meet you there so that's it that's how we look so far we made it i think this is the longest part it takes us to do when we have to work around the handle that's it but we did it we got through it so now from here this will be our first stitch regarding where we go from here and count from there 22 to get to our next bag handle all right so i'm going to go right in there put a half double this will be the first one after our bag handle our first bag handle all right where we join so I'm going to take this stitch marker from here, so it reminds me, and we're up here, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to place one half double crochet in each stitch till you get to your next bag handle, and then the next bag handle will start here. 
I moved the stitch marker that we had earlier, I moved it up here. So I know this is where the back handle starts. And then you do the same thing that we did with just working around the chain. You come around and then you continue doing that five that remain right here for our last five stitch for that round, okay? So I won't show you how to do the others because it's basically the same thing, all right? So go ahead and complete round 33. And to start round 34, I'll show you what to do next, all right? Okay, so we made it around. We did the same thing we did for the other side with the bag handle. And this is our fifth stitch from one, two, three, four, five that we completed with, okay? Now to start round 34, Take out your stitch marker. You're gonna put one half double right there. Put your stitch marker back in, don't lose your spot. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one half double in each of our stitch till we get to our stitch marker. And that should be 20 stitch, okay? And I'll show you what to do next. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our stitch marker. What we're gonna do is called a half a double crochet four together so we're going to join four stitches together so you yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop and one more time yarn over go into the next stitch and pull up a loop all right so you should have one two three four okay four of those stitches that you pull up a loop and you kept on your hook. So now we should have nine loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're gonna yarn over to complete and you're gonna pull across all nine loops on your hook at the same time. It's gonna take a little bit to get through, but we'll do it. There you go. So now what I'm gonna do is, since that's our four together, Put it up here, all right? My stitch marker, so we know that's where we did that. Join those four stitches together. So all you're gonna do now is just gonna do for the handle one half double around. So you get over here, and we're gonna do the same thing, but I'll show you how to do it when we get here by our stitch marker, all right? Okay, so we made it. Now what we're gonna use the four stitches that will line up with our bag handle to meet our bag, okay? So what you're going to do is the same thing we did earlier, but I'll show you again. You yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop of yarn. I'm going to take out my stitch marker. And then you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop of yarn, yarn over. And you're going to go into the next stitch. And pull up a loop of yarn. Okay, so we have one, two, three. We need one more. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop of yarn. So you should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now to complete that stitch, yarn over because this is remember the half double four together. All right. So just take your time and pull across all nine loops on your hook at the same time. There you go. And I'm going to put my stitch marker back there. This is where we made that half up. So I'm not going to show you how to do the other part because you would out get the idea of what we're doing, okay? So all you do is you move on and you do one half double to get to your stitch marker. So use the two that's going up to the bag handle and two that's with the bag itself, all right? And then do that again, the half double four together. And of course you're gonna do it for the other side of the bag. And then when you finish off, I'll meet you when you complete doing the round and we meet back at the beginning stitch marker. So that's the completion of round 34. So we're gonna start round 35. And as you see, when we did that half double four together, we only had two stitches that we had to do the last remaining half double. So now we're gonna start round 35.
So now you're going to take out that stitch marker and this will be our last round but keep that stitch marker there because we're going to come back around to it all right so you just put one half double and then you're going to put back in your stitch marker so now you're just going to do one half double to that to where a stitch marker is that one stitch before because i'm going to show you what we're going to do there now okay so just one half double right to that first stitch marker so now what we're going to do here, uh, the, where the bag handle meets the bag, we're going to do what's called the half double two together. All right, so I'll show you how to do that. Yarn over, go into that stitch just before a stitch marker, pull up a loop, and then take out your stitch marker. And we're going to go into that stitch, but yarn over before you go into it, yarn into it, and then pull up. So this is our two loops that we're going to, two stitches that we're going to actually join together all right so you should have five loops on your hook one two three four five so now you're going to pull straight across those five loops on your hook there you go so we're going to do that again we're going to half double two together again right so i'll show you again yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop and then yarn over and go into the next stitch because we're using two of them to Pull them together all right so you should have five loops on your hook one two three four five and then yarn over and you're going to pull across all five loops on your hook at the same time take your time please bro and there you go all right and that's it so i'm not going to show you how to do the others but when you do get to the back to our stitch marker because it's going to be a little different here all right because you see we don't have a lot of more stitches here to work with when we have to do those because we're doing two half double together at the corner of where our bag meets so when you get there i'll show you what to do but go ahead and do the others and just put where we usually put the one half double crochet you go ahead and do that and i'll meet you there okay so we made it to where we have only Four more stitches to go before we get back to our starting stitch marker so we're gonna use the what we've been doing at the corner of the bag and the strap of the bag handle the half double two together all right so you know how to do that so just go ahead and do that take out the stitch marker remember you're gonna do that two times so now we should have five one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull straight across. Okay, there you go. And then you're gonna do that for the next two stitch, okay? Okay, so we made it back to where our stitch marker is and this is our stitch marker for our, our beginning of our round. So you take that out. So what you're gonna do now is just gonna put one half double right there, okay? So I went ahead and cut off my yarn and attached my yarn needle. So now I'll show you how I weave it in. So now where our yarn is coming from is this one. So we're going to go into the next stitch right next to it. All right. So you go straight through it. And then you're going to pull it. And by pulling it, you could gauge it and you could see. All right. Because we're trying to make it look like we're making another stitch okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through the middle the top of that stitch and come out to the back because we're going to weave it in inside the back all right we don't want it to come out in the front of our back and there you go makes it looks like we did another stitch on the top so it makes it nice and even so i turn it inside now so you, i could show you how i weave in my end okay so just go underneath any stitch you could find. You don't want to come out to the front, okay? And then just hide it as you go along. Okay, so you, I think I'm comfortable with that. So you could go ahead as long as you have your tail and weaving in as much time as you like. You feel comfortable with it, but I think I did it enough there. That's good. All right. 
so that's it i think we did awesome work i think we did great job we're finished i think it came out lovely and when you do it yourself you're like yeah i could do that i could do that <laughs> yeah i feel good i feel good showing it to you and i hope you had fun also making it with me well that's it till next time thank you for watching bye bye